joined in the studio by Woodlawn CFO, John mm -hmm. Kraft. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, always a surprise when you get to walk through the door. I never know who's coming when Woodlawn's coming. Yeah, I know. Usually usually it's Mr. Alley that's coming down, but he had other other items today and I was I was volundrafted to come down <laughs> to see you guys today but no I'm glad to be here and give you the update uh, for the hospital for the month yeah always love getting to talk to you as well as mr. Alley um, you're both a wealth of knowledge and you know most people don't realize neither one of you are doctors but you know just about as much as the doctors that what goes on in that hospital oh I'll never profess to know as much as the doctor <laughs> we try and give as much information as we can we're an open book so your meeting was yesterday morning, correct? Yesterday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what happened at the meeting yesterday? Well, at the meeting yesterday, uh, we had a few capital uh, purchases that were being brought up. Um, and, and I'm going to give a little history because over the past couple of years, I think uh, you guys have been realizing that we've been trying to get a lot of updates on patient care items. Yes. Uh, we've we've got uh, uh, we've got new mammography unit. We've got a new. We just bought this year a new MRI, a new CT. Um, we've got the Da Vinci robot. We've got the Rosa, the orthopedic robot. So we're, we're, we were trying to pick up patient care to get state of the art uh, items into into uh, um, Woodlawn and, and Fulton County, uh, so that they can receive the care here just as well as they can receive it elsewhere, so they don't have to travel. Um, it's part of our commitment to community health. Um, now, over the years, since we've bought all the patient care items, we forgot about some of the infrastructure items that needed to be updated also. Uh -uh. So yesterday, uh, earlier on last year, we, we had to update our cooling tower because it was getting a little, a little old. Right. But the other thing that's been getting old is our telephone system. And uh -huh. RTC has told us that we need to get that system updated. We still had... Uh, the old part of the hospital is still on an analog phone system. Okay. Everything is going digital, as you know. Yeah. So yesterday we presented to the board a proposal to update all of the, the phones and some of the wiring in the old building to get updated to a digital system. Uh, it's been long overdue, and uh, we, we've, we finally have got the plans together to get that done, and we're going to get that done. Okay, and we've got those same phones here and they're absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Just as easy to use as the old system, so there won't really be too much change involved with it. Correct. There won't be any change at all. Uh, the only change that, uh, um, and there's always going to be some change, but the only change we'll have to do instead of when we're inside the hospital just dialing three numbers, when we finally get done with all this, we'll have to dial four because of the added extensions. But that's that's small compared to the... Uh, some of the features that will come with the new phones, with the digital phones. So yeah. Yeah, we're looking forward to we're looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be a nice addition for you guys. Now, will that just be at the hospital, or will that include the um, medical clinic as well? We're looking at the medical clinics also. Um, there will be some change updates that will need to occur. Uh, a lot of them are on digital already, so um, some of them have already been uh, have already. The phones have already been switched out, but some of them we're still needing to do also. So we're we're doing clinics also. Okay, all right. Anything else been going on? Uh, not much. Um, we had well, yeah, we did have one other thing. Um, we are planning uh, next year and early in 2023. Uh, we're looking. We've been talking about John. John's been talking about the build out for the Schaefer Building. So this month, uh, we looked at three architects to start that process. We're going to go through the whole planning process um, beginning in a couple of months. Um, and we, we looked at three, and we have decided upon a firm out of Fort Wayne called Design Collaboratives. So we're going to be working with them to start the architectural process uh, of uh, designing the Schaefer build-out. Uh, and we'll start to include the uh, the doctors and the and the staff that are in there to try and get them to um, uh, give some ideas on what their feelings are about it, and then get those put together. Um, we're going to try and start uh, the building process. Um, probably, we may try and do it late this year, but I'm thinking more of uh, maybe late this year, early next year. We'll we'll start to uh, to get that process going. Okay. Um, I know one of the big questions that everybody always seems to ask is how are the finances with the hospital? 
Finances with the hospital for the month. Glad you asked that question. <laughs> uh, for the month, we had revenues of uh, 13.26 million. Uh, we had contractuals of 8.27 million. That's about 62 percent. Um, that's pretty close to what we usually run and what we budgeted. Uh, we had other revenue of 328 thousand. So our net revenue was 5 million 317 thousand. We had expenses of 5 million 216 thousand. We actually had an operating income of 101,000. We had other non-operating income of 124,000. So we had $225,000 to the positive for the month. So it was a good month. Hey, finishing in the black, that's always a positive. It is always a positive. No matter how little, I think you could finish $2 into the positive and you'd be happy with that. Correct, correct. <laughs> um, now I know when I spoke with uh, Mr. Alley last, there was still some kind of back and forth on what to do with the uh, government pandemic money that you guys received. Any update on that yet? Yeah, what, we, what we've what we done is uh, out of the all the, the funds that we've had, there are two of them that have already been taken care of. Everybody knows about the, the PPP loans that have been sent out to everybody. Uh, we had a PPP loan and it has now been forgiven by the, the Small Business Administration. So. Uh, that money's been taken care of. They also had um, an, Medicare made an advance payment, kind of an advance payment to, to give us money to tie us over. We have paid all of that back also. Um, we are in the process now of, of justifying uh, the rest of the funds, the, the rural hospital funds and the skilled nursing home funds um, that are still out there. J June 11th, um, HRSA came out with new rules again. So the government has changed some of the things again. So we're, we're assessing that right now. Um, one of the things that I can tell you is they've kind of lengthened out the process a little bit more. Uh, they are still going to open up um, the website to, for justification of funds J July 1st, and we have gotten ready for that. We've got a firm that's looking at all those ex COVID expenses so that it goes into the, into the website. Um, and we think we're sitting pretty good. I haven't gotten the final report yet um, from the, the CPA firm that is doing that, um, but I hope to get that pretty soon. He's given me verbal um, okie dokie on what we've received in that first period of funds. So um, we're looking good so far. Uh, we're doing some strategies on if there's anything else we can do. Um, so uh, more yet to come. Okay. Now, now, we did receive a, uh, an update from the governor. I think everybody uh, knows about some of this stuff, but maybe not all of it. Um, uh, the, the Indiana Hospital Association kind of defined some of the uh, Governor Holcomb's updates. Um, as of July 1st, we are going to go ahead and allow visitors back into the hospital again. So we're, we're opening up with some caveats. We still have caveats that are going on. Um, we won't have a door greeter, but we still will require masks within the facility. So as people come in, they're going to be they're going to be asked if, if they don't have a mask on. They're going to be asked where are you going. You know, you'll need to have a mask and everything. So um, we the good news is we're opening it up. The bad news is we're still not opening it up <laughs> for everything anymore yet. Right, and. Do we have an idea of roughly when it'll be completely open back to normal, so to speak? Not yet, because um, I think on the national news this morning, there was, uh, they've got that new strain out. The um, Delta strain. Yes, and, and they're kind of waiting to see what happens with that. There's a little tiny spike that's going on, but it's not big. Hopefully it'll get contained uh, fairly quickly. Um, I know that... Uh, the president is trying to get uh, um, vaccinations completed. He's not going to make his July 4th deadline, but right. I think they're still trying to get that done. But um, more yet to come. But uh, other, I, I don't think the spike is, is very big, so we'll see okay. what happens. All right, so you're not saying we're not going to go back into lockdown, but it, not necessarily a possibility, but, you know, stay healthy, stay Correct. Distanced. Stay safe. Stay too. safe. Yes. Um, just if you if you have gotten the vaccine, then that should work pretty well. The efficacy of it has been well documented. Uh, if you haven't, just protect yourself. It's not over yet. 
um, and that's that's about all the advice that I can give uh, for everybody. So, okay, and of course, if there are uh, any health related questions, you guys can always accept yes. phone calls there at the hospital. Yes, uh, call the hospital, call your call your physician. They are well well up on all of the updates that the CDC has given. Okay, any uh, other things that came out of the meeting? I don't. I don't think so. Um, uh, we had. Uh, I think the financials came out okay. We had. We had a lot of discussion on on some of the um, uh, how we were going to do the telephone equipment and the the build out. We is a rough estimate of the build out is going to be one point seven million. Okay. Um, the good news is, is I've already started stashing money away for it, so we're going to try and pay for that with cash. So okay. um, that's something that we've done. It's, it has nothing to do with the pandemic funds either. It's it's all stuff that we've been trying to trying to squirrel away over the past year or so uh, to get that done. So um, we're we're trying to get this done without any new debt on the books. So right. that's the good news. Yes, that is great news. And, uh, well, Mr. Kraft, thank you very much for stopping by. My pleasure. Um, look forward to seeing you or Mr. Alley or whoever gets the short straw next month. That's right. Whoever gets ball drafted to do it. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And now, like Johnny said, it's the Go-Go's. We got the beat. This is WROI.